Dr. Deo, Mr. Rathan, Mr. Murugeshan, distinguished guests, delegates, it's an honor to be here amongst you and to welcome you to the Smart Energy Conference in Delhi. BSES has uh, in the recent past been partnering with the Intelli Smart Intelligent Group and this is the second year running that this conference is hel being held in Delhi and uh, I'm sure that uh, this will bring new insights into some new initiatives on smart energy which I'm delighted to share with you. India has historically been a power deficit nation for several years. And some of the critical issues uh, facing India's power sector include rising electricity demand, coupled with persistent shortages, low cost recovery through tariffs, rising government subsidies for supply of power, and limited capacity of service providers. Even as concerted steps are being taken to build additional generation capacity, the distribution sector in particular is seized with the challenges of serving a growing and vibrant <coughs> urban and industrial economy while revitalizing the rural economy. Barack Obama said that even as our economy has been transformed by new forms of technology, our electric grid looks like largely as it did half a century ago. This was the start of the stimulus package or, or, or if, if I may say a part of the stimulus package announced by USA in early 2009 and I think it led to a lot of debate on the smart grid concept but the fact is that if this was the state in United States of America imagine what it would have been in a state like India. Electricity is therefore morphing from a commodity into a premium form of service and demand for more high quality electricity will continue growing unabated. The smart grid vision offers unique solutions to meet customers and society's need for a sustainable and high growth low carbon economic model. Recognizing these imperatives, the government of India has set up a smart grid forum under the dynamic leadership of Mr. Sam Petroda and the objective of the forum is to evolve future roadmap for development of the smart grid in India. Smart grid task force 3 of which I am a member is identifying and evolving technologies to improve reliability and quality of supply in urban areas and to improve availability and supply in rural areas. And these two are in conjunction with the revised APDRP program constituted by the government of India as also the Rajiv Gandhi Grameen Vittiya Bijli Yojana, GRGGVBI. But what is a smart grid? I think, you know, in the context of uh, India, we are still grappling with making electricity available on demand 24 by 7 and when we look at it in the context of a 13 percent energy shortage and at least if not more in 8 percent peak demand shop shortage the con context of smart grid appears if I may say so at this point of time virtual rather than realistic a smart grid is an electricity network that can intelligently integrate the actions of all users connected to it with a two-way communication system in order to efficiently deliver sustainable economic and secure electricity supplies. Smart grid therefore encompasses embedded computer processing capability to the current electricity infrastructure and operates across the utility value chain. It therefore employs innovative products and services together with intelligent monitoring, control, communication and self-healing technologies. In the Indian context, 
and why I am saying this, it, it appears a little, how shall I say, several years before we can catch up with even building a smart grid infrastructure that corresponds to the ideal, uh, how shall I say, the, the ideal way to de describe a smart grid. It facilitates connection and operation of generators of all sizes and technologies, allows consumers to play a part in optimizing the operation of the system. Now, unless we get time of day metering and there are many other issues involved in this, the, 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 the involvement of consumers will largely be, at this point of time, academic. Provide consumers with greater information and choice of supply that is also an area that we need to look at. Significantly reduces the environmental impact of the whole electricity supply system and deliver enhanced levels of reliability and security of supply. In a country where many states go through four, five, six hours of routine outages, load sheddings, until and unless we catch up with the generation capabilities, reduce TND losses, I think smart grid will just remain a vision. What we are looking at is an electrical information infrastructure riding on the back of an information infrastructure and with the transmission and distribution arms well integrated with the potential for self-healing and involvement of consumers, we come up to the concept of the smart grid. There are numerous factors in the power system which are forcing the system to evolve as it is. First and foremost, an aging infrastructure and workforce, growing electricity demand. You know, if India, I, and I'm talking in the context of India, that if India's GDP is expected to grow at 8% per annum, then we are looking at a growth at least of 8 to 10% in electricity usage in the years to come. And is our infrastructure capable of really handling this kind of growth? Continuing energy security concern. Delhi today boasts of 24 by 7 electricity supply to its consumers, just as Mumbai does. But for the rest of India, electricity security is, is a dream. Need for energy efficiency. In rising new raw material and electricity generation costs which are not allowed through tariff, not easily allowed through tariff if I may say so. Rapid innovations in technology. If I look across the BSES spectrum, our technology today is vastly different from the one that we used four years ago. If, if, it, if anything possibly, the BSES uh, network in Delhi is very closely aligned to a smart grid vision as we think of it in the Indian context. There are regulatory pressures and there is growing consumer expectation. Smart grid therefore is not a one-time activity. It involves advanced metering infrastructure, it involves network management and it involves a tremendous amount of consumer involvement. And the simple data detection leads to intelligent and integration optimization. I won't go through these concepts because uh, and the components because I'm sure this uh, this uh, symposium will deal with these. But uh, some of the things which I would certainly like to touch upon are that you know the limited control over power flow goes away to be replaced by a full control over power flow. A reactive approach goes away to a proactive approach. Centralized generation goes away to decentralized generation, including uh, for the concept for, you know, where, where, where we have distributed generation coming in and renewables coming in particularly. And from one-way communication, there is two-way communication. There is predictive reliability about the grid and the capacity of that grid to deliver electricity to the consumers. 
and there is a significant uh, scope for improvement with implementation through the smart grid. All these are constituents which uh, I think are well uh, recognized as being essential towards a smart grid. Uh, I may just mention that within uh, BSES we encompass most of these concepts. So we just maybe one or perhaps two steps away from being a smart grid. Consumer concerns are of uh, utmost uh, importance. The cost of input power, cost of power supply, quality of supply, reliability of supply. These, these form the essential bedrock on which the uh, regulatory pressures come in. The fact is that uh, in India today, consumers still believe that electricity is a given. And number two, it should come free. I think times are changing when uh, they realize that there is a cost. And the greater the reliability, the greater the quality, the greater the cost as is there with all other commodities or with the product. The other concern that is coming through is that renewables are being integrate, integrated into the grid. Last year I uh, saw a tremendous amount of renewable capacity being coming on stream in India. There are various uh, programs aimed at uh, propagating and incentivizing renewables and uh, BSES on its own too is taking active steps to make power available through renewables. Largely at this, in this instance to tying up PPAs uh, with the renewable generators outside. But since it is part of the one grid, we bring in the renewable power through the grid. But we are also setting up uh, distributed generation through uh, grid integrated solar uh, plants in Delhi itself, particularly rooftop mounted. Uh, the most essential thing is that there is a remote connection and disconnection capabilities available to the consumer. The bedrock of this is through time of day metering and time of day tariffs. And I think that's one area where uh, the regulatory mechanisms, particularly the state controlled regulatory mechanisms, need to work on in a far more effective and proactive manner. I, I think I'm going to limit myself uh, rather than because there are such eminent uh, people over here to share their experiences of uh, smart grid concepts. But once again, uh, I'm delighted to be here amongst you and to welcome you to India for those who come from abroad. And I'm sure that you will uh, like whatever you see of India. Thank you very much.